I'm Etza, and I'm very excited today to start Story of Seasons Pioneers of Isle of Town. This is the first time seeing this. I haven't watched any trailers or anything for this game, though I am quite familiar with other games in the series. I do want to jump right in and kind of just get started so I'm not wasting a lot of time in introductions, so we can just get excited for the game and jump right in. I didn't watch anything, so... All I really know is that it's more open than the other games, and that's about it. I didn't even look at the marriage candidates, so I'm going to be just as surprised as anyone who doesn't know anything. I wanted to have like the full blind experience since I was going to buy the game no matter what, so I wasn't too concerned about it. A long time ago, my grandfather and his friends blazed a trail and established a new settlement. They called it Olive Town. Solid name. Solid reasoning. All right. When I was a kid, I loved listening to stories of my grandfather's pioneering days more than anything. So I have to wait for the things to go by. Since then, it's been my dream to live in Olive Town, just like he did. All right, so it seems like we might be jumping in really quickly. Oh, I'm making my character. So I can make a bunch of different things about my character. I kind of like the face that I'm starting with. But I do want to kind of go through and look at them all. I kind of like the determined eyes, but those are some softer eyes. Energetic eyes. Bright eyes. A lot of these look kind of the same to me. Exotic. Fresh. Um, sweet. Calm. Uh, I'm, I'm really bad at like making decisions like this, but I think if I go through this. I know which ones I wouldn't want. Like, I kind of like friendly, confidence, nice. There's a lot of options here. Actually, I'm kind of impressed. Stubborn, bright. I'm not good at choosing, though. Let's see. Uh, pioneer. I kind of like pioneer, to be honest, but actually, I think I'm going to do energetic. Hmm. Energetic or pioneer. This is the thing I'm going to be stuck on. I'm, I kind of like... I'm gonna do energetic. I don't know. That just kind of feels more like what I would want to be. Um, let's see. I like that one. Deep brown actually matches my own eyes. And you can change your eyes independently, which is actually really interesting. Let's go through hairstyles. Actually, this guy already kind of looks like how I would want to look, but just for the sake of completion, I do want to kind of pop through all these options. I do enjoy a good character customization. So, and I'm glad that they let you do all different hairstyles, which is cool. It doesn't seem to be gender locked, so I'm happy about that. So I'm going too fast. I apologize. I'm, I should probably take my time a bit more. Let's see. I'm not used to having all these different options. I think I'm going to actually stick with the classic hair in the beginning, but it is cool to see the option. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things here. Although, I, like I said, I think... Option one is probably closest to what I would do, though this does match sometimes. Unfortunately, this is actually the perfect haircut for me. Um, same for the hair color. I do want to kind of go through, though, and just take a look. Because if you wanted to make a really cool farmer, you could, you know, have black hair with red eyes or white hair with red eyes. You could look like a ghoul or a demon or whatever you want. Uh, emerald green. I'm just gonna pop through at a faster pace. I'm actually glad they seem to change pretty quickly. You know, because sometimes things don't work out that well. I'm gonna do, uh, I might actually do chocolate brown. Let's go down here. We have different voices. Wow, they... Is that who I think it is? Is that... I think I know that voice actor. You know what? I think I'm gonna stick with Fresh. I know I'm barely changing anything about the character, but it actually is pretty spot on with what I'd wanna do. Bearing. Okay, so powerful and charming. I am definitely a powerful, powerful man. I do wanna look through the outfits. Oh, I guess I'm guessing you're gonna be able to buy or unlock clothes, but I really appreciate their uh, fluidity they have here. So my character looks pretty basic, but, you know, I think that works out for me. So I'm just gonna <laughs> just pick this one. Oh, wait. I 
think I want to do a lighter hair color. I know this is probably killing people, but I think I do want to change it. Nah, you know what? I'm going to stick with a dark brown. Maybe I can change it later, maybe I can't, but I think I like, I think I like the darker hair. And we're going to confirm that. I'm going to go with that appearance. I know that took a while just getting the appearance ready, but I actually did it a lot faster than I would have probably on my own. I didn't name myself or anything. I think this looks pretty good. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, ready to go out into the world. I'm already really liking the vibe of this game, like just making your character. Seems pretty good. Motorcycle color. That is awesome. Okay, so we gotta look at the options here. What, what do I have? White motorcycle. I'm definitely gonna go with like a black motorcycle. Although I'll probably lose it if I make it black. I could just make it yellow so I don't lose the thing. Definitely don't want to do green. White. I think we're definitely going black. Although a red one would be pretty cool. You know what? Let's go red. I think red seems pretty cool. I might not be able to change it later, but I can deal with the red one. Seems seems solid to me. Like a solid choice. So let's get going. I'm, I'm happy we're in a vehicle. This is probably the first time I think we ever got a vehicle that wasn't a horse. And a horse isn't really a vehicle. All right. What is on to the next step of setting up this wonderful farm? Here I am, rolling into the new village. Just me, the road, my motorcycle, and my matching helmet. I think... Oh, I'm leaving the city behind. You even get to see yourself leave the city, which is pretty awesome. Although now I'm just waiting. Going off into the city. Wait, out of the city, not into the city. And now it's nighttime to show that time has passed. We're getting pretty far now. Soon I'm sure I'll be able to pick my name and name my farm and everything else. Oh, heads up. I like to name the animals in my game after the people in the comments. So if you want an animal named after you, please leave uh, your interest in the comments. And I'll name it either after a username or a specific name that you ask me to. As long as it's, you know, appropriate for the channel. It's first come, first serve, too, so... I'll write it down as they pop up and name the animals after you. My other playthrough is completely full, so this is a good fresh start. Okay. Seems like we're arriving on the farm. If there is even a farm, I don't really know how it's going to go. I don't know if I start with the farm or if I have to make one. Did my motorcycle break down? And who might you be? Did you come all the way here on that motorcycle? Ah, uh, no, I no, I walked. Yes, I did. Well, that must have been an arduous journey. Your poor motorcycle tells a story all of its own. I'm giving him my generic mirror voice. Ah, you needn't worry about it. I have the I can have the repairs arranged. I'll be taking it to a man named Clemens who runs our tool shop. You can pick it up later once he's all done with it. Ah, by the way, I might have your name. May I have your name? Whatever your name is, I don't know. I'm Etza, of course. I'm always Etza. Here we go. Look how fast I decided that. Confirm name. I see, so your name's Etza, is it? That sounds so familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Ah, oh my goodness, your birthday. It's, uh, uh, uh what is it? I, th I think it is. It is. Wait, wait. Ooh, I can change, like, the date and everything. It's not gonna be that date, though, that's on there. I want... Wait, I want winter... And... I can't change it. I can change what day it is. I want winter 10, because that is closest to my birthday. So let's choose that. I always do winter 10. Yes, I remember now, winter 10! Come to think of it, his grandchild would be 20 by now. Ah, that would make you... His grandson, yeah? Ah, uh, you're a boy. You cannot change this later. Uh, yeah, I am. Yes, of course. My apologies. I don't know how I could have forgotten what you're s when you're standing right in front of me. All right. Goodness gracious, to think my dear old friend's grandson would find his way to Olive Town. Come on, then. I'm glad... I'm happy... <laughs> I can't talk. I'd be happy to show you to your grandfather's old farm. So I, I do get a farm. So that's cool. I was actually unsure 
if I got a farm to begin with or not. So we got that all settled. Although it does not look to be the most upkept farm. Is something the matter? Actually, let me guess. By the look on your face, you'd like to ask me, are you sure that's your grandfather's farm, sir? My grandfather, whatever, farm. I am blowing this first episode. And to that I would say, it is. When your grandfather lived here, this farm was a lush and beautiful place. Emphasis on the was, I'm afraid. Now, what was the name of the farm again? Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Your grandfather must have told you the name of the farm, surely. What was it again? It was Soul Farm, but hopefully they had the word farm, or it's just going to be called Soul, because I always name it Soul Farm. At least in my... yes. The farm's name is Soul Farm? You cannot change this later. And yes. When I was very small, I used to call it the Family Farm, but I have become edgier since then, and now it is Soul Farm. Interested in taking over the farm, are you? Well, I can't say I'm well versed on the subject, but I can at least teach you the basics to start you off. All right, I'm ready to learn these basics and get this going. I am so excited to play this. Like, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Here you are, I'll pass along these to you. I wonder what tools I'm going to get off the get go. These are tools for developing the farm. As I'm sure you're well aware, this farm has seen better days, but those tools will be the key to changing all of that. Press left and right to select an item in the item bar. You can use the highlighted item with Y. All right, seems pretty straightforward. All right, items you finally placed in your bag. P press X to open your notebook and view your inventory. All right, it seems pretty good. Be aware of trees and stones while clearing things out. You'll need special tools to deal with those. All right, clearing the land. Using an axe while standing in front of a tree will allow you to chop it down. Stones can be broken with hammers and sickles. Can cut wild grasses. Not hammers and sickles. Sickles are for wild grasses. And uh, stones are for hammers. Stones are hammers. Hammers are for stones. You, you get the gist of it. I'm sure you read that correctly. I realize this is a lot to take in. It might be baffling at first. Take things at your own pace and you'll gradually grow to accustomed to it. Ah, and do use the sleeping bag in your tent if you find yourself exhausted from work. A good night's rest will restore your energy. Alright, sleeping. Sleeping in your bed will recover your stamina. The game progress will automatically be saved the next morning. Alright. You are welcome to take some notes on all this for future reference. If you do, you can view them from the notebook in your tent at any time. Examining a book on the bookshelf in your house allows you to view tutorial tips that you've missed thus far. Following along so far, if you're uninterested or if you're unsure about anything, I can explain it to you once more if you'd prefer. Please do not. I'm not falling for that one again. Excellent, good to hear it. I have some other things I should explain to you as well, but I'd rather not overwhelm you, so let's wrap up here for today. First, I'd like you to try out everything you've learned. I'll be back tomorrow to teach you how to grow crops. Oh, and if there's anything about Isle of Town you'd like to know, I'm the man to ask. I'm the mayor, after all. As a quick word of mayoral advice, I'd suggest you get acquainted with our residents. Leaving a good first impression is paramount, I always say. Now, then, I'll be on my way. Until tomorrow! Ta-ta! Woohoo! Alright, he's out of here. No more mayor. And now we're able to move and run around freely, which is also something else that I've been looking forward to being allowed to do. If Let's view the notes. And I don't need any of these right now. Uh, let's check this. I can write in the journal without having to um, sleep, which is cool. So I can save at basically any time. So that's good to know. Let's quit this out and let's check this. We got a calendar. Looks a lot like the one in Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. We got a whole bunch of people here in the town. Look at all those people spread out everywhere. Uh, next door stranger. I guess that's my status. We got different animals, mini game information, change title, albums, and your tools can be stored in the tool bag when you need them. Take them out to use them, and when you're done, you can store them back there. Make the best of this and your special tool storage. I'm not talking clearly. Ooh, we got levels so we can level things up. That is super exciting. I'm always all about that life. And it seems like we have different things we can build, different recipes, and different friends and different birthdays. This is, is already looking awesome. There's a lot of things going on. There's objectives popping up on my screen. Ooh, you can save whenever you want. Objective complete, new title, new farmer. We have a bed. 
We have a radio. What does a radio do? You can listen to the weather forecast on the radio. It's important for farmers to know what the weather will be. You'll be able to listen to the forecast for the next day and beyond, so be sure to tune in. Alright everyone, you know what time it is. We are coming at you live with the weather report. Sunny weather in store for spring one Sunday, and it's finally getting warmer out. Warmer out. Yes, looks like spring two is going to be sunny with clear skies. Sounds like the perfect day to sunbathe. Looks like spring three is going to be sunny, folks. Ah, sunny days. Perfect for long walks and unexpected romantic encounters. Thanks for tuning in. See you tomorrow. So, the weather gives you two days notice, which is also very cool. Now, unfortunately, I do want to stop the video here today because I want to give everyone time that wants to be an animal an uh, extra chance to uh, log their interests. So, tomorrow we're going to be really starting out with this game. So, Consider this in the introduction. So, I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. And I'm not going to sleep, but see, see you then.